This is part 2 of how to get started with your new .NET Nook website. So now we have the home page is getting, getting close to what we have here in the live site. Uh, not yet there, but getting pretty close. So first thing that we're going to do just by comparing with, the, with our end goal here, let's place uh, this text in the main banner. Place your company logo here. So I'm going to place that text right under this location. So how are you going to be doing that? Now we're going to have to expand our control panel area at the top. And let's change a little bit the, the mode that we are looking at the website right now. Let's, let's select layout. When you select layout, you can see different areas on the web page. See, there's a slogan pane, slogan pane, left pane. Those are different places that you that you can put the content inside of it. So let for us to 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 put this text inside the slogan pane. Here's what we have to do. We have to select in the top drop down where it says module. Select HTML because you're going to just paste plain content in the slogan pane. Under the pane uh, drop down, we will select slogan pane. So it will know that it will have to place the content right on top of my banner. Uh, under title, you don't need to put anything for now. Let's leave it blank and insert at the bottom. Doesn't matter too much here. You can just keep it as is. And let's click on add module to page. So here is the new module that we have just added to this Logan pane. Now let's go back to edit mode. So here in edit mode, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the mouse over the little triangle besides the the text HTML area and I'm going to click edit content. So when I click edit content, the content editor comes up and here's where I where we can manage the content for that area that we have just added the HTML module to it. So here's the text that I'm going to put in. So let's save and have a look. So here's how it looks like. Uh, let's let's check the view mode. View mode will show exactly how the site will look like once live. So it's quite different from what we have here in the live site. So let's change the color. Let's increase the fonts. Let's go back to edit mode. Go to the triangle again, click edit content. Let's do a couple of things. First one is let's make this text um, a heading. Let's put some space. And let's make it white so it can give a nice contrast against the, the red color. As you can see, the, the, the editor is quite simple, has pretty much the very basic features of any text editor. Click on save. So here's how it looks like now. Let's click on view. Okay, so it's quite in a good position. Let's leave it there. Okay, so now we have uh, placed the slogan uh, on top of the top banner. So let's move on to another content area of the home page. Let's check the live site. So now let's go to the main area where it says welcome. Going back to our development site. Let's click on, on layout. 
so we can have a look at the different areas of the page again okay so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna create some content and put it inside the top pane so the first thing that we have to do is go to the top make sure that we have HTML mode selected well, let's select uh, under pane let's select top pane and then let's click on add module to page so here we have the module of course there's no content yet let's click on edit and then let's go to the edit mode of that main area so move the mouse over the triangle click edit content so I already have the content I'm just gonna copy and paste the content hit OK okay so we have the content here let's click on save you can have a quick look at how it's looking like under the view mode it's not yet how we want so let's go back to edit so we can add the two images instead of moving the mouse over the triangle to go to edit content there is another there is a shortcut cut in some skins that uh, you can see below the content where it says edit content this is again just a shortcut so the first image that I want to add is right on the on the left side of the first paragraph so I can click the mouse on the beginning of the first paragraph and I can click on the icon the image icon I'm gonna browse the server and I'm gonna upload the image file click on browse at the top select the image file which I have right here subscribe click open and click upload new file so here is subscribe button I'm gonna, just go, I'm gonna click on it I'm just gonna click on it and here it just shows a little preview I will set the alignment to, to, to left click OK so the first image is placed I'm gonna place the second image click at the beginning of the paragraph image button again browse server I'm gonna browse to choose a file from my computer use the other file click upload new file new file is here now instead of left alignment I'm gonna do it right alignment click OK so here's the second image click save let's have a look how it's look like the view mode so it's it's quite close good enough please go to part 3 of how to get started with your new .net nuke website thank you